Hey everybody, Randy here in Eastwood Garage with another live video on Facebook, YouTube, and at eastwood.com. Don't forget to share and subscribe, and if you're in YouTube, click the bell icon in the top corner. Today I've got Matt with us again. He's going to help demonstrate some rust products and show you some work he started yesterday. And over here we've got Scott, so if you have any questions, make, make sure, sure you, you post them as a comment. I'll let you go. Go ahead, Scott. Make sure you what post them do? over here so we can answer them live. And also, most importantly, this month's giveaway. Contour SCT. Can't forget about this thing. You know, it goes hand in hand with some of our rust products we have here with the uh, one stripping wheel. So make sure you get your name entered right on the main page for eastwood.com and uh, win one for yourself. All right. Well, uh, good job, Scott. <laughs> so uh, let's get into it. Again, if you have any questions, post them. Scott will take care of you. So rust encapsulator, our most popular rust preventive uh, product and we've got all kinds, if you weren't familiar. Our regular rust encapsulator, which you're gonna see a spray in a little bit. We've got silver, gray, red, clear. It comes in gallons and quarts. We even have uh, a rubberized version and a textured version. So the rubberized version basically combines uh, rubberized undercoating and, and um, rust encapsulator. And the benefits over just a regular undercoating is that it has that rust encapsulator in it. So it has those properties. So a regular undercoating, you got to be careful that, that it doesn't trap in the moisture or the rust and have it uh, blister back through, cause even more problems. Plus you have the flexibility and um, uh, just, the, just the benefits of the rubberized undercoating. And it actually survived a thousand hours of salt spray uh, chamber testing. So it's a really good product. And the textured rust encapsulator is cool too because it's going to help hide some rust. I've got a panel here I'm going to bring up to Joe to help him so you can see the difference between, am I good Joe? Oh. Yes, sir. So you can see the difference between the smooth, oh, let me see, between the smooth uh, rust encapsulator and the texture. You can see it has a little bit of texture. So if you're putting it on um, a frame, something that has just a slight surface rust, a little bit, it's, a, it's really gonna help hide that. Or if you, just want, um, if you just want a little bit of a different appearance, if you just don't want it to be as uh, smooth as regular rust encapsulator. So, I'm going to head back here, set this back up. And a regular rust encapsulator, it survived like 500 hours of salt spray chamber testing. So it's a really durable uh, quality product. And we've got some, uh, some other ones. I'm going to hand it over yeah. to Matt, let him. Uh, so probably one of my favorite rust products we've come out with in the ha past handful of years, uh, rust encapsulator we've been known for for a very, very long time, is our internal frame coating. Uh, so this uh, can I have here is black, but we also offer it in green, um, is our original version is in the green. So what this does, it uh, has a, an extended nozzle here that has a uh, conical spray pattern comes out of this nozzle. And we have a cool, cool shot showing you how that works because it's kind of hard to see here, but you can see when you spray it, it actually sprays and gives you 360 degrees of, or just about of coating with that when you spray it in. So you can get in hidden areas. And with the length of it, you know, you could fit it in the holes in a frame, bed sides, uh, you know, in, in a quarter panel, anywhere that's hidden, you can feed that, that in there and spray it. And as you pull it out, it's going to fog around and, and coat the whole inside. So this was done uh, basically in one coat, the inside of this frame here. This frame section we have for display uh, was coated. And uh, you can get this taken care of and it's going to leave a phosphor coating that's actually going to stop the rust and, and, and prevent any future rust from occurring. Uh, one tip though, uh, if you're doing a frame that's maybe a different color than what you're spraying, uh, the stuff is, uh, it's a little thin, thin compared to, to other coatings. So it, it's made to be that way so it creeps in all the crevices, but what that means is it can get all over the place. Yeah. So if you're using the green and you got a black frame, you're going to have something that's going to show up there and it's really difficult to get off for good reason. Um, so make sure you tape up these areas or if you have silicone plugs, you can shove them in there and that'll keep that from happening. And so. I like to use it. I've used it in A and B pillars. Yep. We've used it, I think even in Cody's Camaro in the, in the A pillars, B pillars, like doors, rocker panels, like anywhere you can get in, you might as well put it, you know, even if it's a new vehicle, yeah. not just a restoration. Yeah, this works so. in any, anywhere. And if you use, if you want the ultimate kind of, if you, you like to go overkill, do this, and then our heavy duty anti rust over top, mm. and you will n never, ever, ever have a problem with rust again unless something catastrophic happens. So, <laughs> um, 
So the next thing we have, we've had this out for a while, and um, this is a product we get a lot of questions about when do I use it, um, when should I use it, when shouldn't I use it, and we had a good frame section here I'm going to show you guys that, that we did it on. But basically the rust converter, this product's interesting because it requires rust to actually um, to, to work. It needs rust present. So spraying this over bare metal, or if you have an area that has maybe a mix of bare metal, rust, or paint and, and rust, uh, the areas that aren't fully rust are not going to cure. So keep that in mind. If you're doing a repair on a floor pan and maybe 80% of the metal is new, this may not be the product that you want to use, or at least not on the whole area. You may only use it on little spots. So um, over here, we have a shot uh, I sprayed yesterday because this does usually give it about a day to, to cure, but I have, we have a shot when we were spraying this so you guys can see the difference between what it started looking like there. And I just I put on uh, a couple heavy coats, got them nice and saturated. Uh, you can also brush this on with a foam brush if you have the, if you have the gallon or quart there. And this is what we're left with. Uh, it ends up turning kind of a, a blackish purple with, you know, sometimes there's a little bit of a white tone to it there. But you can see, instead of it being that, the, the rust color like you can see, you know, over in here, it changes appearance. That's how you can know that it's actually worked and that it's converted. Um, and it should be pretty much dry to the touch. It shouldn't be able to wipe it off or anything like that. And uh, nice thing about this is now it's ready to be coated. You can put your rust encapsulator over top. I think we have yeah. a can over here. I'll spray. Uh, and the thing so. with it's like the, you know, you're trying to stop the air and the moisture from getting in. Yes. Is, so that's what's going to prevent the rust. And and one thing you need to make sure when you're doing this product uh, that you're you're mindful of either doing it in a garage where it's not going to get wet again because this is kind of um, it's almost like being virgin metal again where this could start rusting again mm -hmm. so if you do this and push it outside and let it sit for a week and it rains your runs rust is going to show up or if you just let it sit in your garage without coating it it could rust again so make sure you're following these steps you know spray it and you know the next day or let it sit overnight and the next morning you yeah. you, you coat it because uh, this product does need a top coat on it. So you can just take the rust encapsulator. And one nice thing about encapsulator is that it doesn't need a top coat. Yeah. Like a lot of the popular rust products ultimately need a top coat. And you don't have to top coat rust encapsulator. Now, I mean, we suggest it and, you know, I mean, it's, it's going to help. Yeah. But always, you don't have to. I always say same thing, overkill. If you want to go overkill, Put some chassis black over it, and you're yeah. gonna you're gonna have something that's you're never gonna have an issue with. Was, so, yeah, that's basically it. You can put multiple coats if you'd like, but at least one good heavy coat. Uh, you know, not enough that's gonna run, but a nice coat to saturate it, and that's gonna seal up, and that's that's a good um, that's a good protective layer now that we're not gonna have an issue with it in the future. So that's one way. If it's heavy, flaky rust um, that either you don't want to remove the rust, or you just can't get to it, or depending on the situation, um, you can use the rust converter and come back with the rust encapsulator. So uh, that's one way to take care of it. Now, rust encapsulator does not need um, rust converter to work. Like Randy was saying, you can, you can spray this on, and this is the top coat. Uh, so you can do something as simple as uh, basically just like in this wire area brusher. here. The wire brush, you get any of the major heavy rust that's going to be falling off that's loose because the coating's only as good as the, the base that you're spraying it on. So yeah. if there's loose rust that's just going to fall off when you hit a bump, well, the paint's going to fall off yeah. with it. So uh, you would just wire brush it. Hit it with some pre-paint prep. Yeah, like that. And then you can spray some pre. Oop. Right here. Getting ahead of myself. So you could spray some pre Let on it dry it. off. And let it run off and, and dry off. Wipe it down, and then you can apply your rust encapsulator. Which so, we sort of did over here already. If yeah, we wanted, yes. Are we jumping ahead? Yeah, so that, that well, I mean, that section, we'd have to yeah. let that dry let off. Let it dry so, before. Uh, we used this in last week, I guess it was Monday. Yeah. Maybe Monday. Uh, we showed you guys the new drums uh, for the SCT we came out with, and we have a scale drum um, that works really well for things like this. Um, if you guys hadn't, didn't see that one, uh, you should be able to see it on our YouTube channel, or we have a short clip right here of uh, Andy hitting some of the spots. So he prepped it, and he removed uh, pretty much all the, all the heavy rust here. And this is a good situation where I would not want to use uh, rust converter because 
that drum actually took it down to bare metal in some of these spots here. So if we sprayed rust converter on this, these areas that are bare metal, they're, ne they're never going to cure. It's going to stay sticky. You could rub it off with your hand and the rust encapsulator is not going to adhere and you're going to have an issue. So this is an area where rust encapsulator on its own and if, would be great. And if you have large areas that are good metal, you're going to want to scuff it or sand it a little bit. Like, I mean, because usually it, it, it's bare metal, but there's some tooth to it yeah, from the rust yep. that had been there. But if you have areas or if you're patching, you're putting a patch panel in, make sure you still scuff that so, you know, to give it a little tooth for yeah. this because it kind of needs a little bit. Yeah, and Scott talked about the, the scuff pads just the other day. So <laughs> yeah. that, that's, that's at minimum hit it with, a, you know, one of those. Old scuff pad Scott over yeah, there. Yeah, scuff pad Scott covered that pretty good. Do you have any questions here, Scott, while you spraying this on? Sure. One of the questions was with the larger quantities, the uh, quart or gallon of the encapsulator, is that something you can spray through an HVLP spray gun? All right. So um, just people want to know if you can spray the rust encapsulator because it comes in gallons and quarts in a, in a standard HVLP uh, paint gun. And yes, um, you can uh, spray, them, spray them through a regular gun. Yeah, if you're doing a whole frame. Yeah, you're gonna most definitely. I would rather I would rather do it with the. Uh, the one thing is that this encapsulator has like a fan, uh, a fan spray pattern out of the oh, yes. can, which makes it a lot nicer. So I usually like to reach for a spray can because setting up the paint gun can be a pain. Yeah. So if you're not doing a whole frame, and I, these cans are, yeah. you get a lot out of these cans. So you can see, you know, quick just did a coat there, cover that up. That's gonna, you know, we can let that dry. And we can either leave it as is, or we could throw some chassis black if you want to put uh, either our satin or gloss chassis black yeah. on. You can do that and make it really, really nice. I've even um, been using, since we sell different colors, I've been using the truck bed, the white and like a truck bed oh, yeah, at the end yeah. of the winter, where, because uh, my dad has uh, salt spreaders. So you, so you scuff it down or hit it, hit it with a wire brush yep. and spray. So it's kind of nice having different colors because it gives you, besides that, you know, like plow frames, anything like that, you know, salt spreaders, if they're metal, you know, I try to put it on that every year too, just to Keep get a little more life out of it. Away, yeah. But we saw that SET there earlier in action. Anything big happening with the SET right now, Scott? Yep, the SET this month, giveaways. For any of you who have just tuned into this, uh, this is our monthly giveaway, so make sure you get your name entered right on the main page of the website. Uh, easy to enter, and by the end of the month, yeah, you only got another week there, or so. so, right? Yeah, so that way you can. No, not a week. We only have uh, a couple, a couple days. days. So oh. make sure you get your name get in there, so you can win one. Of, hopefully, win one of these. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah, it ends in like two days. Do we have any more questions? Uh, yeah, the in? other question that I figured I'd quick cover. Uh, somebody asked if we had a red chassis paint. We don't want to have one directly, but we do have a red rust encapsulator, which would be able to be used without a top coat, so you could potentially get that look you're going for. Cool. That's it. Yep. All right. And uh, do we do we show? Oh that? yeah, over yeah. here we have. To, I, I almost forgot. Thanks for reminding me here. We have a, a Corvette chassis. Anybody who'd been in the Pottstown store, we actually took it out of the store a couple years ago when we remodeled. But this used to be in our Pottstown store, uh, up on a stand, uh, for everybody to look at. And it features all of our paints. And the one thing it does feature is rust encapsulator. But what you see here is our chassis black, which is a really nice yeah, paint, like our satin nice chassis black over it. You know. So that's a good example of, you know, it started out looking just like the section here from the Camaro, um, you know, wire brush cleaned it and rust encapsulated and then that, that chassis black gives it a nice factory, you know, the satin gives a nice factory yeah. look to it. So, so what's this, what's this for? Like a 68, 69? 60s Camaro. I'm not a or Corvette. Uh, Corvette. I'm yeah. not a, obviously, uh, into those, but. I wonder, you know. I wonder, I wonder what somebody would give for this. Yeah, somebody Without the, with it, like if we took the engine out. Because yeah. we take the engine out. I wonder what somebody would, would give us for this uh, chassis, the suspension, rear, everything. I'll give, you, I'll give you even a better deal if you put an old truck body or something on it to really yeah. make Corvette guys angry. I don't, I don't, I'm just, I'm, I'm really I'm, into that. I wonder what that's <laughs> worth, like a six, this, like whatever, that third generation Corvette chassis. Yeah. It's restored. All the rust is you fixed got, on it. You guys got an opinion. Shoot us, uh, shoot us some comments. Maybe, maybe we can twist our arm to get rid of it. So... All right, well, um, thanks for joining us. Again, if you need any rust products from encapsulator to converter to even internal frame coat, make sure you visit eastwood.com. And uh, don't forget to check out our videos on YouTube where we've got uh, a lot of footage and a lot of instructions on how to use these products, and we're going to show you what they can do. So uh, anything else, Matt? No, just make sure you guys are, uh, are checking in with us Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, every, every week, uh, 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. We're putting on 
a uh, little tech session where we're talking about our products. And if you have any ideas for future uh, broadcasts, drop us a comment and we'll do our best to, uh, to do it. So cool. that's all I got. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah. Have a good one. See you Monday.